the situation that is facing our community in Yemen. As you are aware, that part of the region and Yemen in particular is undergoing a terrible war. Our community in Yemen, and I am talking about our community as in Khoja Shia Itanashri community, we have about 700 to 900 people there. Our community has suffered direct threats, injuries, killings, and targeted human rights violations. We ran two rescue missions. The people were able to escape and we were safely able to bring them to Djibouti. We now have 456 refugees accommodated in Djibouti. A lot of people don't know what actually went on in Yemen. And let me read for you a few of these letters and a few of the narrations that we have received. Abbas was killed because he was a Shia. Coming back from work, Abbas was attacked by the insurgents who had planted a bomb in his car. Moments later, the car blew up. The father sees his son, but doesn't recognize him because the body has been mutilated. And there are hundreds and hundreds of such stories. I have got people in Djibouti, they are children who are suffering nightmares till today for what they have seen. We now need your help. Brothers and sisters, it is our duty to help them in their hour of need. We have launched a scheme which is known as Sponsor a Family Scheme. We have 108 families and the cost per family is a thousand pounds per month. All it is, it's 250 pounds a week. My brothers and sisters, every penny counts. I beg you, I urge you that on this blessed night, let us give what we can. Insha'Allah, and I am confident that with your du'as, we will make our brethren a prosperous community once again.